Man, and I use the term loosely, of course. Uh, we're going to do a quick vid today on installing piston pins. Um, these are, generally speaking, a little bit of an interference fit, and you can't easily push them in. Uh, you could knock them with a hammer. Of course, you'd fuck up your connecting rods if you're beating on them. Uh, but let me show you a much easier way. up a little bit. This will take a lot. You could probably throw them in an oven and, and uh, bake them at uh, 250 for, you know, a half hour, 20 minutes, something like that. Piston pin slides right in. And there you have it. Easiest way to do it. You don't have to beat on the pin to shove it in. It prevents damage to the bearings and your uh, connecting rods. That's the way to do it. Okay, those uh, pistons, uh, you saw me fitting the pins in went into this motor right here in front of you. Uh, I didn't video a lot out of this motor. The thing with the piston pins and the previous video about the uh, flywheels uh, came out of this engine. Uh, you see a lot of videos of uh, people building Sportster engines on the internet, but what you don't see a lot of is people building these on the internet. We got a 1955 KHK. And I teased this in one of my earlier videos. This is on the block next. I've had a very busy spring. This one's up on the bench. And this one, I really consider this kind of a privilege to be able to work on these things. Uh, very rare, 1955. Not a lot of these around. Uh, they didn't make many of them in the first place. Uh, really looking forward to getting into this one. Uh, I will do a series of videos on uh, disassembly, reassembly of this thing here. It's not a hell of a lot different than a Sportster, but, you know, it is a flathead, so it's got some different things. Uh, anyway, really looking forward to getting into this one. Uh, it's the next one on the bench. I'll be starting it soon, and I will do a whole series of videos on tearing this thing down and putting it back together again. Allegedly, it was just recently gone through and has been sitting around for decades. Uh, supposedly, uh, it should only need a kind of a cosmetic uh, freshening up. Uh, we'll see. Stay tuned. There will be more on this motor. I am out of here. Until next time, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.